friends. Okay, so whenever you see the names being similar, that means they run beside one another. Okay, so the you have the left subclavian, and then it'll go and form other veins. Let's not let's forget that for a minute. But the one that goes up into your neck, what is that called? Internal jugular. jugular. Your internal jugular. Okay. So your common carotid and your internal jugular run beside one another. So that's why in, in these in these foreign movies when you, they slice your neck, you have lots of spurtage happening. So that's slicing through your carotid carotid artery and your jugular. So now you know that's the internal jugular they're talking about. So the internal jugular connects to what the brachiocephalic. Whereas the external jugular comes out of what? The subclavian. So this is important for you to remember when you're trying to identify veins. So if you're confused as to whether it's internal or external jugular, check where it's coming from. So if it's coming from your brachiocephalic, you know it is internal. internal. If it's coming from off your subclavian, then you know it is external. 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 The exact same thing on this side. Right brachiocephalic, what will this be? Internal. Internal jugular. External. External. Subclavian, again, right? Now, in your uh, vein, in your arteries, you had brachio? Yes? yes? You have two more extra guys in your veins. Yes. How I remember it is CVB. Okay? Starting from lateral to medial. This is C. This is B. This is B. Cephalic. Brachial, which is the same. And basilic. Like a basal leaf. Cephalic, brachial, basilic. basilic. Now that kind of splits up, and over here you have a little a side vein here, which is called median cubital. This median cubital vein is where you draw blood from when you go to the doctor's mm -hmm. office.